Hello everyone and welcome to another Cornix tutorial. This video will provide an overview of the Signals Bot's advanced settings. Some of the advanced settings covered in this video will be explained in depth in the tutorials provided in the video's description. The Signals Bot's advanced settings are only recommended for more experienced users and will allow you to customize every aspect of your trades to your personal preferences. Using the advanced settings, you'll be able to tailor the configuration of your trades by overriding the entry or take profit price and ratio strategies, enabling advanced features like trailing stop or dynamic take profits, and more. To see the full Signals Bot advanced configuration, open the bot form and click the advanced settings button. In Cornix, each Signals group has a configuration that can be updated by the group admin at any time. This configuration includes settings such as entry and take profit ratios, trailing configuration, and more. These parameters can also be set by the admin when posting a signal, and if the posted signal configuration differs from the group configuration, it will override it. Parameters under the advanced settings will often include a toggle which will determine how the bot calculates the value of each parameter. When the channel option is selected, the parameter value will default to the group and signal settings. When the personal option is selected on the other hand, the parameter value will always be overridden by your personal preferences and the selected parameter value will always be used. Lastly, when the off option is selected, the parameter will always be disabled altogether. Now let's proceed to go over the different advanced bot parameters. In the general tab, the symbol selector will allow you to limit your trading to the selected symbols only. For futures exchanges, in the advanced settings you will also be able to limit your trading to signals with specific directions and set your leverage preferences to select specific or maximum leverage values for each symbol. In the leverage section, for example, you can select a value of up to 20x for all symbols to make sure Cornix will never use a leverage of over 20x for your automated trades. Next, in the Entries tab, you will be able to configure your bot's entry strategy. By default, all bot trades will be created with the original signal target prices and ratios, but this behavior can be overridden and modified using the strategy parameters. By overriding the entries ratios, you can modify the amount that will be allocated to each entry target. For example, you can choose a built-in strategy like the decreasing exponential or set your own custom strategy with specific ratios for each target. In the prices section, you can override the entry target prices by setting the price difference and price scale parameters. Using the number of orders parameter, you can control the number of orders that will be created in the bot trades. This parameter might be called number of orders or max number of orders depending on the value provided to other strategy parameters. Enabling the trailing toggle will apply trailing entry based on the chosen percentage for all entry orders to achieve a better entry price if possible. Lastly, you can enable the first entry grace parameter which can help you avoid missing signals by allowing the bot to extend the first entry price range by a defined percentage. In the Take Profits tab, you will see many of the same parameters as in the Entries tab, which will allow you to customize the Take Profit targets ratios, prices, and number of orders. In addition, the first Take Profit Distance parameter will allow you to override the distance of the first Take Profit from the first entry target. The trailing configuration is available as well for the Take Profit order by enabling the trailing toggle. Lastly, in the Take Profit section, you can configure the Moving Take Profit setting, which will automatically adjust your Take Profit targets prices as additional entries are filled, increasing the likelihood of reaching your Take Profit targets. In the Stop section, you will be able to mitigate your risk by setting a default Stop Loss order for your trades as a percentage below the first entry or the average entry price. In addition, you can set a Stop Timeout, which will delay the closing of a trade by a Stop Loss order. Use this parameter to ensure that your trade will not be closed if the price falls below the stop price only for a very short period of time. In the Stop tab, you can also set a trailing stop that will move your stop order as additional take profit orders are filled. 
Lastly, on the advanced settings, you can define certain thresholds that can prevent trades from being created for you automatically, including a maximum number of simultaneous open trades, a minimum cooldown between opening trades for the same symbol, minimum symbol price and volume, and max concurrent amount to be invested in all open trades. In addition, you will be able to configure if you wish your trades to be closed when the take profit is reached before any entry is filled, and choose your desired stop type between a limit and market order. This is it for this video, I will see you next time.